Hello friends, welcome to my channel The World. In this video, you will know about the most cruel execution methods of all time. Number 6. Brazen Bull The Brazen Bull, sometimes called Sicilian Bull, was an execution device designed by Perilaus of Athens in the year 560 BC. The bull was hollow, crafted entirely from bronze, and it had a door in one side. The criminals were locked inside the bull, and a fire was set under the statue. The fire heated the metal until the criminal inside died from severe burns. The scratched bones were then often made into bracelets and sold at market. Number 5. Sewing Sawing in the half was an incredibly cruel execution method used mostly in the medieval Europe. During the process, the criminal would be hung upside down from a tree or gallows, and a large saw would be then used to slice his or her body in half, starting with the crotch all the way to the chest and head, while some victims were cut completely in half. Most of them were only sliced up to their abdomen, prolonging their agony. Because the victims were hung upside down, the brain was receiving sufficient blood flow to keep them alive and conscious, until the saw finally reached the main arteries in the abdomen. In extreme cases, the execution could last several hours. Number 4. Boiling in execution by boiling, the criminal was stripped naked and then thrown into a cauldron full of boiling liquid or cold liquid which was then heated to the point of boiling. Sometimes the executioner controlled the speed of boiling by raising and lowering the victim to the cauldron using a system of ropes. The liquid used could be water, oil, tar, acid, wax, wine or even molten lead. While not as common as many previous methods of execution in the past, boiling to death has been practiced in many parts of Europe and Asia. That was caused by severe scalding caused by the boiling liquid gradually destroying the skin, fatty tissues, exposed muscles and eventually forming breaches in major arteries and veins. Number 3. The Catherine V. The Catherine Wheel, also known as the Breaking Wheel, was a medieval torture and execution device. The criminal was tied to a large cart wheel with his arm and legs stretched out. The wheel was then slowly revolved while the executioner smashed his limbs with an iron hammer, heavy metal bar, or even using another cart wheel, breaking the bones in many places. After the bone shattering process was complete, several limbs of the person were woofed between the wheel spokes. If a merciful execution had been ordered, after all the bones were shattered, fatal blow, known as a blow of mercy, was then delivered, breaking the person's chest and neck and causing immediate death. After the execution, the wheel was often placed on a tall pole so that birds could eat the body of the sometimes still living criminal. If he survived the initial blows, it could take up to two or three days for him to die of shock and dehydration. Number 2. Rat Torture Often known as simply the rat, this was a especially cruel and gruesome method of execution, originally used in the medieval China. Described as the most brutal torture technique ever devised, it employed live rats eating through the victim's flesh. At the beginning, large pottery bowl filled with a couple of rats was placed open side down on the naked prisoner's body. Large amount of red hot charcoal was piled on the top of the bowl, gradually heating the air inside. Rats terrified of the heat then slowly gnawed their way outside through the victim's flesh. Only a small percentage of victims survived this gruesome procedure. Most of them died due to intense internal bleeding and septic shock from severely infected wounds. Number 1. Divorce 
This incredibly cruel method of execution originates from the ancient Persia, sometimes also called scafism. Criminal was contained inside a pair of narrow robots or in some variations in a large wooden tub with his head, hands and feet protruding outside from his container. The person was then forced to ingest large amounts of milk and honey until developing a severe diarrhea. And mixture of milk and honey was also rubbed on the exposed part of his body, attracting flies and other insect species. Then he was left afloat on a still pond or a lake. The defenseless person's fecal matter slowly accumulated within the container, attracting more flies which ate and bred within his or her exposed and increasingly gangrenous flesh. Person was then repeatedly fed each day to prevent fatal dehydration and starvation, often prolonging the torture to several days or even weeks. Death, when it eventually occurred, was caused by a combination of various factors, most often because of septic shock, starvation or dehydration. You guys can tell me in comment section about that execution which you think more cruel. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and information. Thank you.